I'm Alva Keen, and I'm the founder of Izzy Wheels. Self-expression is a human right. And if you're a wheelchair user, this piece of metal becomes the first thing that people notice about you. But it's not a reflection of you or your personality. This is my sister Izzy, and Izzy was born with spina bifida, which means she's paralyzed from her waist down. And she's been a wheelchair user all of her life. And growing up, she found it really frustrating and upsetting that there was nothing available for her to personalize her wheelchair. So, even when Izzy was a little girl, our favorite thing to do was to decorate her wheels. So, for special occasions, we'd customize her wheels, and this gave her a huge confidence boost. And it drew so much positive attention to her wheelchair, and people would say, oh, I like your wheels. And suddenly, it would open up a really co positive conversation around her disability and allowed her to talk about it. Right now, wheelchairs look the same as they have for 100 years, and people have negative associations with wheelchairs. And some people would say the first thing they think of is sick people or elderly people, but that needs to change. Because for a wheelchair user, they don't see their wheelchair as something negative, it's actually something really positive. It, it's your enabler, it helps you get around, and that needs to be celebrated. So that's where the idea for Izzy Wheels came. So this started off as my final year project when I was in NCAD. And I created a range of colorful wheel covers that you could attach to your wheelchair and transform your wheelchair into a piece of fashion and a piece of self-expression. And our tagline is, if you can't stand up, stand out. So we work with artists all over the world. And the idea is that you can transform this medical device into an extension of your personality. So we work with 50 different artists, including Orla Kiley, James Early, Okudard, Kitty McCall, Super Mundane. So these are a mixture of fashion designers, graphic designers, print designers. And the idea is, is really to get as much diversity in the wheel covers as you would with your clothes. So Izzy Wheels satisfy a brand new set of needs for a wheelchair user. And psychologically and emotionally, they give you a huge confidence boost. They allow you to customize your appearance and make a positive statement about yourself. And um, so yes, so we have three types of spokespeople. So a child who's been born with a physical disability, who's always been a wheelchair user and who'll always be a wheelchair user. And then there's someone who may have been involved in an accident. So if your identity is that you've always been stylish, you want to remain stylish now that you use a wheelchair. And of course, sports teams, where one order is many orders. Um, we're really lucky to be working with the uh, Team GB for the Tokyo Paralympics. Um, so there's actually 67 million wheelchair users in the world. So there's a lot more than people realize. And it's a really big market. And in, there's 14 and a half million wheelchair users in Europe and the US alone. How we actually sell our wheel covers is we team up with wheelchair manufacturers. So when you go to buy your wheelchair, to order your wheelchair, Easy Wheels come as part of the package. Uh, we, we do a lot of work with disability organizations. So here in Ireland, we work with Enable Ireland, the Irish Wheelchair Association, SPHI, um, sports teams, the Paralympics, and we've also found a really unique digital route to market. So we have been on BBC, RTE, and we've had a number of viral videos. So a video that we made with Business Insider got 2 million views in a day and 16 million views in a week. And um, we were the first Irish people to ever be asked to take over the official Instagram account. So that had a reach of 250 million people. And we've also been in a lot of fashion publications. So something that's really, really important to us is that there needs to be more representation of people with diversity in magazines, be it in print or in digital. So we've been in Vogue magazine, Cosmopolitan, Forbes magazine, um, TechCrunch, and the idea is really to... So when meal users look at a magazine or these articles, they want to be able to relate to the models and in a positive way. So right now, when people see wheelchair users in these publications, it's, it's not often that you see them for fashion, and we want to change that. We have competitors like every product, but the difference between ours and theirs is that they're permanent fixtures. So they're actually built into the wheels, so you can't get them off. So you don't change your wheel covers until you change your wheelchair, which is about every five years. So it would be like wearing the same pair of shoes every day for five years, which you'd never want to do. And they're designed by hospitals, so they're seen as a medical device. Um, and the design just stuck on with stickers, so really quickly they become peeled and faded. Our advantage is that they're really easy to put on. So you can attach them on with Velcro, so you've got different wheels for different outfits. And um, we have powerful branding because we're a creative-led business, and all of our designs are created by creative minds. Um, we've copyrighted on the designs, 
They're works of art. They're very far removed from a medical device. And we're also working on a digital platform. So Bespoke is Izzy Wheel's digital platform where you can build up your own designs. And Steve O'Hare from TechCrunch just described it as Nike ID for wheelchairs. Uh, we're live in generating revenue. A set of Izzy Wheels is 129 euro. So it's the same price as a nice new coat. And um, we're selling in 35 countries around the world. And um, 60% of our sales are coming from the USA. And we're not a one-off purchase. So people are coming back to buy different wheel covers to go with different looks. So you've got your summer collection and your winter collection. Um, so something that I have to say is this grew much faster than any of us really could have planned for. Um, my background is art and design, so I never really saw myself as a business person. Um, so as this started to grow, especially when we had all those viral videos, we were trying to think, how, what's the best way to market this that feels real? Because I never set this up with the intention of being a business. I set this up so that my sister could feel more confident in her wheelchair. So, I wanted to always, as this group, to stay true to that and the reason why I was doing that. And that was to give wheelchair users, like my sister, confidence. So as we were growing, I was trying to think, what's the best way? And that's where we came up with the idea for spokespeople. So we have wheelchair users in so many different countries now, and each of those people have their own story. Me and Izzy, we're sisters, we have one story, and we're from Ireland, and that's our story. Whereas every single person who purchases these wheel covers has their own story and got their own style, and it's just so lovely to see the different range in that and um, how they match their wheels to their outfits. And so every week we have a spokesperson of the week and we share their story with our community and it kind of goes viral then within their community. And it's a really natural way rather than endorsing celebrities to say they love the product when we knew people did love the product. A question that we often get asked is, what's your favorite wheel cover? And this one was a really random one where, because we do some personalized ones for weddings and different occasions. But this girl wrote to us and she said, this is a tattoo in my hand. Can I have it on my wheels? It's for an event I'm going to. And we were like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I put the tattoo in her wheels. And it turns out she's a power poler. So she's paralyzed from her waist down. And she's able to get up on a pole and spin around. And she wore her Izzy wheels when she won a, a gold medal for Spain. Um, so uh, I think it's really important to say as well, uh, our whole business is run online through social media. That's how we do everything. We don't sell in shops. And you're really, really lucky in that the age you are, the generation you are, that you actually really understand social media. And I know there's obviously negative like, things to do with social media too, but I mean, if you understand social media, you can totally use it in your favor. That's exactly how we run our business. I also want to say that I'm not, I never saw myself as a business person. Um, I always saw myself as a designer, and I always thought I was really bad at business. I dropped business in junior certs. I was like, hate that, I'll never need that. Um, turns out I did. Um, but, so you might think you're bad at something, but it might not necessarily be true. You just need to put yourself out there, and like, you need business skills with whatever profession you go into. I didn't think I needed it for, for design, but every big designer or big artist that you can think of, they're actually really good at business as well. Um, Ireland is actually a really, really good place for it too because there's so many supports. Um, and I'll start rambling on now. Uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>